Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we will be doing a unboxing of the brand new Google Pixel 4a, and then doing a direct comparison versus last year's model of the Google Pixel 3a. Now, I do wanna give a big thank you to Google for sending this out and having me be a part of Team Pixel. Now, for this year's model of the Pixel 4a, there is only one size, one color, and that is going to be a 5.8 inch display, 128 gigs of internal storage, and the color of just black. So let's open this up and let's take a look. Now underneath the lid, there is nothing on the inside. Let's just pull out this phone, take off the plastic. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is that this phone feels just to be a little bit smaller, even though it has a larger display. The display size of the Pixel 4a, this one is coming in at 5.8 inches. The last year's model, which is the Pixel 3a, was coming in at 5.6. But what you can clearly see here is that the forehead and chin has been dramatically reduced. So you can see here that the Google Pixel 3a just has a lot of room on the top and the bottom that is just waste of space. And then they're able to bring in all the bezels right around over here. So this one's, you know, looking and feeling really good. The camera placement is basically the exact same. It's actually right up over there. It's above the screen on the Pixel 3a. This one actually has it built into the display, pretty much looking like a Samsung Infinity O display. So let's finish up the contents of the box itself. Looks like we do have uh, some materials here. Here is your SIM popper, so you can open up your SIM tray. Uh, inside of here, you will have your Type-C to Type-C charger. I love to see that. Uh, really not a big fan at all of seeing, you know, the USB-A to USB Type-C. Then you'll have your charging brick. So this one right over here, again, USB Type-C to plug it on in. And then this right here is just a way that you're able to plug something into, uh, you know, your phone. Like, let's say maybe you wanted to plug in a flash drive or a mouse or really anything else. Uh, you'd be able to put in USB type A there and then USB type C on the bottom of your phone. Now this is going to be everything that's inside of the box and everything that you really need. Now, one thing I do love about this phone that it sticks out is going to be its accented power button. I just love the fact that it is a different color of the phone and it's very clicky when it comes down to, you know, the clickability of the volume up, the volume down. It's going to be one that is a little bit louder than most phones, but I mean, the feedback is just fantastic. So let's just finish through this fast setup. So taking another look at this phone, I do have to say that when you do use the Pixel 4a, it does have a little bit more snappiness to it. Uh, and also too, going into the applications is actually way easier. When it comes down to the Pixel 3a, I had to go to the very bottom of the phone just to pull this up. With the 4a, you're able to do it really anywhere on the screen, makes it really easy to use. Also again, you can see the accented power button. It looks really good on the 4a. And also too, on the very back of these two phones, uh, this one over here is just black. I mean, it's very simple. You have your flash, your one camera sensor right over there. You also have your flash one camera sensor there, but it just looks a lot better on the 4A. Also, when it comes down to the fingerprint scanner, the fingerprint reader, this one has a little groove, a little divot that you can put your finger into. This one has less of a dip, a less of a groove, so it's not going to be as deep. Uh, but again, you know, you know exactly where it's at and you're able to unlock it really quick. I'm just very, you know, impressed with how large this phone of last year, the, the Google Pixel 3a is versus the 4a, but they were able to get a 0.2 larger display. So by now we all know that the Google Pixel 4a is 349, but what all do you get and how did it compare to last year? So the Pixel 4a over here is at 349. It has a 5.8 inch display. The Pixel 3a was a 5.6 inch display. Internally on the 4a, you will have 128 gigs. This one from last year only had 64. The RAM on this one, which is gonna make this phone super snappy and fast, has six gigs of RAM, where the Pixel 3a from last year only had four gigs of RAM. And also the processor was also upgraded. Last year's model had the Snapdragon 670. This one has the Snapdragon 730G. Now you're also gonna have a really good camera. You're gonna have that 12.2 megapixel dual pixel camera on the back as well as a all-day battery you have call screen and android updates for three years so i will be moving over the sim card from the pixel 3a over to 
the foray and then i'll come back with you guys in about two weeks letting you guys know how i feel about the pixel 4a after two weeks of usage so really that is everything you need to know in this package it is 349 128 gigs of internal storage you also have six gigs of ram 5.8 inch display it is leaps and bounds significantly better than last year's model so good job google for giving all of these upgrades a larger screen with a smaller phone but I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, when you hit on that like button, did you also know that it turns blue? And don't forget to hit on that subscribe button right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.